Hi there, it's Jennifer and I got my Ipsy bag. So what I'm going to do is briefly review the things I got in my Ipsy bag for the month of May and then I will open this one for you on camera. Haven't taken a peek in, I just loosened the tape on the top. So, okay, let's start with those five products. Their theme last month was Jet Setter and uh, so let's go through it. The first one is an Oscar Blandy, I feel the need to shake this, it's a mousse. Um, it's an Oscar Blandy product that is called a hair lift, um, thickening and straightening mousse. Um, I normally use a product by Big Sexy Hair called Root Lifter or Root, root, pump, root pump. And um, I like to put it right at you know the roots right on top um, where my hair will sometimes go flat and so um, I was just finishing up a bottle of that stuff when I got this so I didn't open up a new one of that and I have I have exclusively been using this one so um, this one was a nice product um, I really did not notice the difference that I had switched to something else the only thing I would say is a drawback to this is that because it's a mousse, it, it comes out like mousse does, you know, where you where you you know put it like this and it makes a big old foam ball in your hand and then you put it in. The thing I like about the big sexy hair container is that it sprays out in a stream and then puffs up into the mousse. And so you can direct it a little bit more to where you want it instead of having a handful of stuff and having to put it where you want it. So, but otherwise, I thought this was a really nice product. This next one was a sample product from Nooks, N-U-X-E, I think that's how they pronounce it. It's called Rev de Miel and it's a facial cleanser. Um, it says that it is a face cleansing and makeup removing gel and it, it does do that. I, I would say that if you're not a person who's into using makeup remover, this does a really good job of taking off makeup, but it, it doesn't take, take it off, it doesn't take your eye makeup off like makeup remover would. Um, it is a good option though if you don't want to use um, another product as well. This was something that I got probably about a year ago in an Ipsy box and loved it so much that I purchased the full size. And it wasn't very expensive. I think it might have been $17 for a pretty good sized container. The smell on this is amazing. I think they describe it as being honey and sunflower. I didn't even know sunflowers had a smell. But, um, but whatever that smell is, is darn good in this. Um, so I had just gotten away from using it. I'd finished it up and I think I started using my CeraVe skincare products and, um, and just never reordered this. But being um, exposed to this fragrance again, man, just made me think this might be in my future. So, um, so I really did like this. Uh, okay, so then there was a lip primer by Urban Decay. I have to admit, I didn't use this a lot. I used it just a couple of times and kind of forgot because I don't normally use a lip primer, but I will tell you that it's very smooth and creamy, doesn't make your lips feel dry and pasty or anything like that. I did put it on today with some lip product over the top of that. Um, I don't know, I can't even tell you how well it works because I didn't use it that much. I'll keep using it though, I'll try to remember. The last two things were by Bodyography and they're an eyebrow powder and, um, and an eyebrow brush. And the brush has a spoolie on one end so you can kind of brush the, the brow hairs. And then it has an angled brush on the other end where you can actually get the product out and put it on your um, eye, eyebrows. So this has a really dark color, um, a pretty chocolatey brown color and then another one that's sort of a grayish tan. I imagine that one is for kind of mixing with the other ones so that they're not, well, so you can try to get a color um, that looks like what you would wear. I would say that with this one, there were a few times when I wore it, I used it quite a bit. There were a few times when I used it that my eyebrows just looked too made up. So this morning when I was putting my makeup on, and I don't know how, how they look today, um, but this morning when I was putting my makeup on, I tried to use more of this really, really light stuff mixed with the chocolate brown, and it seemed like, um, it, seemed like it made a more natural look. So I've kind of been used to using eyebrow pencils, but this is nice, and you know, I have a whole container of it, so I'll continue to use it. So those were the products from May. Those were really nice things. 
And we're on to the bag for June. All right, so let's see. Okay, here's the card that says uh, Swim into Beauty. Really dramatic, a lot of orange on here. And then it says, um, just keep swimming, salt in the air, sand in our hair. Cue the lifeguards because summer will be five times the fun when you dive into these beauty must-haves for June. And then information about posting on social media. But of course, no description of anything. Okay, so Ipsy always includes a cute makeup bag. I didn't think last month's was that cute though. It was just plain canvas and had a graphic on it of lipstick and I don't know. I didn't really like that one. But hopefully this one will be cute. Ooh, and it's got that same orange theme going on here. It's black. It's really squishy. It's really kind of, yeah, it's, it feels really neat. Um, it's kind of squishy on one side and more smooth on the other. And it's got um, Ipsy kind of inlaid into it and really bright orange zipper and everything this month fits inside. So let's see what we have. See, I wish I had a card because if I could do that, I could actually tell you what everything is. Sometimes I look at them and I have no idea. So let's hope I know what these are. Okay, the first thing I find is Pure Brazilian Miracle. Let's see what this is. It is a leave-in conditioner with keratin. Huh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> Good, uh, that's nice. And um, pretty decent sized bottle to give it a shot. Um, I, I always like getting a deluxe sample over a sample. I mean, who wouldn't? But. I feel like if you could just try something one time, you, you can't really know if you if you like it. But if you have a lot of it and you can try it, then you know, then you can tell if you'd want some. So this is an, a good one. This one is by Dr. Brandt, and it's called Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Blackhead Extractor Mask. Um, yeah, the rest is not in English. So it's a blackhead extractor mask. Um, that would be really interesting because I don't really, I don't think I have blackheads. Um, you know, you kind of, you kind of move beyond that at some point in your life. But, um, but anyway, I'll try it. I'll try it on my nose. Maybe I have, maybe there's some there. there. Okay, the next thing I have is by Trey Steek, T-R-E-S-T-I-Q-U-E. It is some kind of a crayon that seems to have lost its lid. Well. Oh, no, <laughs> this is so interesting. Okay, it looks like a crayon, like I should be able to go like this and have it, um, but that's the lid. So the lid looks like an open thing here. What is this? Okay, well it goes on in a real kind of a, um, I don't know olive green kind of a color. And what is it? Let me see. The color is Aspen Pine and it's a mini shadow crayon. Huh, that's kind of neat. Seems like um, a color that would be more appropriate for fall, but, um, but yeah, this is, this is nice. And um, I like green, so, and I like that. An olive green would look good um, with my skin tone, so I like that. The next thing is by Smashbox, and it is called Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And so, yeah, um, I don't often use foundation primers, but I have tried them in the past, and I do like them. It, the biggest issue I have with these is remembering to use them. So I will try my darndest to remember to use this. And the last thing that is in my bag is... It's by, it's Shea, Shea Moisture, that looks like that's the name of the company. Uh, Shea Butter Lip Crayon, ooh, and it's a pretty, pretty pink. Oh, nice. And I love that it's um, Shea Butter. Okay, if I can get out of here, it'd be great. Yeah, look at this, isn't that pretty? Let me put it on here for you, if I can open it, okay. Oh, very, very nice. You know, I recently got something like this. It was a, 
uh, Laura Geller product that came uh, for free in a, with an Ulta purchase. But this has a little, it looks pink, but it's got a little bit more of a purpley color to it. So that is really nice and really pretty and it's got shea butter, so it's really good for your lips. Okay, so that's it for Ipsy. Hope you guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you got your Ipsy bag and you got um, some different things, I'd love to hear about those or if you've tried any of these things and think that they're um, really great or not so great, <laughs> then go ahead and comment in the space below. Um, if you guys are not currently subscribed to my channel, just hit that button right there. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos to this channel, which is about three times a week. I do stuff not just about makeup, but also about organizational projects, life management, vacation planning, bunch of different stuff like that. You can also check out my other channel, My Flagstaff Home. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.